Welcome to the Handed Down Kitchen, where we bring antique recipes out of the past and back into the kitchen. In our recent videos, we've been introducing you to our collection of antique and vintage cookbooks. So far, we've shown you our Victorian, Edwardian, World War I, Interwar and Second World War cookbooks. Today, we'll be introducing the youngest cookbooks in our collection that were printed in the 1950s, 60s, 70s and 80s. The books you'll see today are generally bigger, more colourful and with more variety in terms of world cuisine and flavour combinations than the older books we have. In the coming weeks we'll be publishing videos that focus on each of our cookbooks in more detail, so watch out for those if you're interested in finding out more about our books. So picking up from where we left off, let's take a look at our 1950s cookbook. This is our copy of Good Housekeeping's Cookery Compendium by the Good Housekeeping Institute. It was published in 1958 with this copy printed in 1959 and at the date of this video it's 62 years old. The book is divided into three parts. First, basic cookery for the most inexperienced beginner, then picture cookery which is slightly more complicated and then third, picture cake making. By this time, Britain's reigning monarch was Queen Elizabeth II, who had ascended to the throne seven years before our copy was printed in 1952. And the Prime Minister was the Conservative Henry Macmillan. This book has 640 pages. There are black and white step-by-step -step picture guides for many of the recipes, along with lots of colour photographs which you might expect from a Good Housekeeping book, as Good Housekeeping was a very popular magazine in Britain in the 50s and still is today. The recipes we've tried and filmed from this book are rum truffles, banana split with melba sauce, and jam plate tart and custard. One of the best features of this cookbook, and one of the best features in all of our cookbooks really, are the step-by-step -step picture guides that accompany most of the recipes. With these, it's very hard to get things wrong when you're making one of the recipes in this book. As with all of our books, we'll tell you more about this one later on in our video that will focus solely on this cookbook, so let's move on to the 1960s. This is the Sunday Telegraph cookery book by Jean Robertson. It was published by the Sunday Telegraph, a sister paper of the Daily Telegraph, a British newspaper in the year 1967. By this time, Queen Elizabeth II had been Britain's reigning monarch for 15 years, and the Prime Minister was the Labour Party's Harold Wilson. At the date this video was published, this book is 54 years old. It has 287 pages, a few sketched illustrations, and a few colour photographs too. The recipes we've already tried and filmed from this book are strawberry tart, baked spare ribs, and beetroot soup. The 1960s had become a golden age for international travel, so it's no surprise that in this cookbook you start seeing recipes influenced by a few different world cuisines that you don't really see in our older books, particularly Greek and Italian. There's a big chapter as well on wine by Andrew Robertson, the husband of the main authoress, Jean. So that was our 1960s cookbook, which we'll tell you more about in a few weeks' time. Now let's move on another 10 years to our 1970s cookbook. This is our copy of the Complete Colour Cookbook, edited by Jill Eden. This first belonged to my great-grandmother Bessie before being handed down to myself. It was published in 1977, and at the date of this video, it's 44 years old. By now, Queen Elizabeth II had been Britain's reigning monarch for 25 years, and the Prime Minister was the Labour Party's James Callaghan. This book has 256 pages. In the 1960s, dinner parties had started to become popular, and by the 1970s they had really taken off. So in this book you find a huge chapter on appetisers, and a mixture of fuss-free and very fussy main dishes that would have looked impressive on the table. And again, you see a little more world cuisine than before, particularly more Mediterranean, East Asian, and Nordic-inspired dishes. The recipes we've already tried and filmed from this book are smoked haddock and cheese tart, Millionaire's shortbreads or caramel cakes, and chili con carne. 
It's the first of our cookbooks that's entirely in colour, so it's true to its title, and we often find it hard to choose what to make next from this book because so many of the recipes sound and look absolutely delicious, from all of the chapters in the book, although the cakes look particularly good. And now for the youngest cookbook we use. Moving on another 10 years into our 1980s cookbook, we have our copy of The Best of Cooking with 600 recipes and 600 colour photographs by Hamlin. This book was published in 1987 and again first belonged to my great-grandmother Bessie. At the date of this video it's 34 years old. By this time Queen Elizabeth II had been Britain's reigning monarch for 35 years and the Prime Minister was the Conservative Margaret Thatcher. This book has 336 pages, it's in full colour with a photo for every recipe and as you'd expect out of all of our cookbooks this one has the most recipes that are the closest to what we're used to seeing nowadays. The book is split into two halves, the first dishes for special occasions and the second everyday cookery. The recipes we've already tried and filmed from this book are Viennese Wiles, Autumn Pie, and Black Forest Gatto. You can also see some of the 1980s fitness vibe going on in this book. There's a big section on slimming recipes and a lot of the desserts have a healthy streak to them. Many of them are mostly fruit. And that's it, our collection of cookbooks that we use for all of the recipes you see on here. In our next video, we'll show you a bit more of our Victorian cookbook, followed by a recipe from that book. We hope you enjoyed this video, if so please leave us a like, and if you'd like to see more about our books and see us recreate more antique recipes, be sure to subscribe to our channel.